Hello everyone, welcome to the soap cutting video. My name is Tamika and you're watching the soap throne. So I am back today, still morning actually, to cut the soap that I made last night, which is mahogany. So I'm liking the way it looks so far. Um, we'll get right into it, but before that, let me just say, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more soap making and soap cutting videos in the future, please follow. And if you want to find out as soon as I upload a video, hit the bell icon and you will. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and unmold this and get started. Okay, so here I'm back with the unmolded soap. I'll show you the sides. You can see a little bit of the, wait, yeah, a little bit of the plain color soap got into it. But I like the way it looks on the sides. Here's the other side. All right, so let's get to cutting. Um, got the first one. Nice and firm. Let me see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, not bad. I like it. So today I think I'm going to attempt to make my Lux Lavender Soap again and uh, I'm going to change up the look a little bit. I'm a little nervous because that one I know accelerates because it's a floral essential oil that I use. So yeah, I will see how it goes but I'm, you know, you know what I've been dealing with lately if you've been watching so we'll see how it goes. So this smell is really nice. It's kind of, um, I think I said yesterday that this could be a unisex scent, but I do feel like it leans more towards the masculine. Um, but yeah, it's kind of, I, I can't remember what the notes are, but there's some sort of it smells almost like a resin, resinous sort of fragrance. Um, there might be some sandalwood in here. Don't quote me on that. I'm not certain. But um, it's sort of like a deep, fragrant wood sort of um, um, smell to it as well. Yeah, so it's kind of sexy smelling, can I say? Um, yeah, earthy, sweet, dark in a good way. I really like it. So, I was thinking, since I like it the way that I do, I might actually give this a try again. Um, yes, it rices, but it, I think it would be worth giving another shot but first two I'm gonna see how it sells I think this is the season where it might sell fairly well so yeah we'll see how it goes and if it goes well you'll probably see me making it again in the future if not you know we'll see not unless I get like you know a special re um, request from family. I'm hoping that I have these in the frame. I'm not really checking at all. I know I keep talking about that, but you know, it's a little difficult because I'm using my iPhone to record. So it's not always, oh, and it's also positioned in a way that it's kind of above my eye level. So I always have to get up on my tippy toes to see if I'm um, in frame or if I'm centered in frame. coming to the end here I don't know if you can hear all of that that noise in the background but I've got windows and doors open because it's a hot day today and uh, 
there's some construction taking place buses go by and all that so if it's super noisy apologies that's just life happening all right and there is the last one and I don't even mind the way the top went like I said you know I couldn't get that brown layer straight like I wanted it to be but it's okay I like it still and now for this one the cut in half this in piece and there we have it all right everyone thank you for joining me um I will see you soon actually but until then I hope you all have a wonderful day or evening or summer or winter. All right, see you soon. Ciao.